Here are the Mets in the middle of July thinking they could be a contender. That's what a nice 7-1 and one streak will do for you leading into the All-Star break. Now, I think it's a little bit of a fool's gold in that I think the Mets are about a 500 team, and that's not going to get you into the postseason. But the Mets do have reason to be optimistic. I think the return of Dylan G in the rotation has been a big one. And obviously, this is a team that has some struggles offensively, but there have been bright spots. And I'll start with Juan Ligaris, the center fielder the Mets knew was a great fly catcher, has turned into a better offensive player than I think even the Mets imagined. And I think Lucas Duda someday, and maybe this year in the second half, will reward the Mets' patience in terms of sending him out there time after time and living with his mistakes and slow development. It happens to a lot of big left-handed sluggers give the Mets credit for being patient. I think going forward, what the Mets need to do is decide who is their shortstop. Is it Ruben Tejada? And if not, is it Wilmer Flores? And if it's not either one of those, well, maybe they'll have to go out on the free agent market or in the trade market in the offseason to find someone who can provide more offense at that position. I say go out in the free agent market because, yes, I think the Mets have the foundation now to add a piece or two this offseason to put them right in the mix of contending for 2015, just not 2014.